So currently I have no tiles. I have four tiles to my name and I think the best way for me to get more would probably either cook our monkfish or do a little bit of wood cutting. We are 67 wood cutting. We can do the uh, the yew trees, but we don't even have those unlocked, I don't think, unless I unlocked it elsewhere, but I don't think I did. So yeah, we're probably just gonna do a little bit of wood cutting. Uh, should get a decent amount of XP right now. And we do have the rune axe, so that's actually gonna help a lot, but I'm tempted to go do cooking instead, but we'll, we'll see how the, the wood cutting goes, because it looks like we're getting tiles pretty fast already and then we can just like fletch it also if you're wondering what my current plan is i really want to start working on getting a good gear right like i think about the point where i don't care about leveling up my combat anymore i'm done with the wilderness for now at least um, i'm sure we'll go back eventually so right now i want to get tiles and i think a good goal in mind would be to maybe uh, i'm thinking warrior's guild to try and get like a defender or something but I, I, i'm not really sure yet also could try and attempt to get to the point where we can do barrows because like we have a decent mage level we just don't have the uh the gear the tiles we don't we don't have much to go off of here all right so we have 19 tiles by the way i think we can go ahead and unlock a yew tree which I, i'm surprised i haven't yet but uh let's go ahead and walk over here and there we go we now have a yew tree so yeah we're probably going to just work towards getting to barrows um if that means getting better mage gear we're gonna have to figure out a plan for that because i'm not really sure yet i know we can purchase death runes and stuff through um different shops and whatnot we've already unlocked those shops that have the good runes so it's more about the time i guess i don't know if we need prayer pots or if i can teleport away from barrows replenish my prayer and then go back and like the brothers are still dead that i killed because if that's the case then that's ideal and we can actually do barrows right now so we're gonna have to test this out. Let's just get some tiles that way we can actually like, you know, walk around because we're gonna need it at Barrows. And then we'll go and buy some runes. We have 188k. Let's uh, let's hopefully not waste it. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we can really go there with just mage, right? We need range or melee. We don't have very good range gear, so we'd have to purchase some. Or it can work on melee stats. I think range would be the best I, or option just because it's already level 71. Okay, so I have came up with the plan now. It's kind of good that we're actually here um, doing woodcutting and fletching already. Because I need, I need, what? oh man, is it 80, I think, to get a maple But Oh man, we need 80 fletching, so 15 fletching levels in order to get to where I want to be. Oh, we can't even do that. So we need to be able to make a, a magic short bow and then we'll use that for barrows and then once we have that we're I think we're set we should be chilling because we do have access to rune arrows I just have to go to I believe I want to say the archers guild has it but I might be wrong unless we've already unlocked it. oh yeah there's a shop in Catherby that has rune arrows so we have rune arrows we can purchase those that's fine it's gonna be expensive but it's fine but we can't purchase a, uh, what's it called, a magic short bow anywhere. I'm actually going to start selling these, I think. They sell for a good amount. Let's get our cash stack up a little bit. It might take a little longer because we have to teleport and walk back each time. Let's actually just see if this is even worth it. It might not be, but let's see. So we're at 188k, and oh yeah, that is more than worth. We're going to start doing that from now on. So yeah, we're going to... Oh, Whoops, we're gonna get 80 fletching right now. We're gonna sit here and grind it out and then we're going to hit up barrows. So yeah, it's gonna take a hot minute. It might be better if I had some flax, but we don't, so I'm, I'm not gonna bother. And a quick little intermission, we did end up just going for 20 attacks so we can basically just get rid of the steel skimmy. That is an inventory space that we kind of need. And I'm tempted to get rid of these freaking nature runes because yeah, it's taking up inventory space, but we'll, we'll sit on them. It's fine. Oh, I almost just wasted tiles. That was scary. So yeah, we, we can now get rid of this. I'll just sell it to the shop next time I go and bank. Easy. Here we go. Pretty big milestone. There we go. Oh, no, one more. Just kidding. 70 fletching, which means we can now do the longbows, which is going to increase our XP. Wait, what? 1.125. 
Oh my god, that barely increases our XP. But it should give us a lot more GP, I think, right? So this is 240 uh, high elk value into 384. So we're making more cash at least. But yeah, this is going. This is taking a while, guys. We're 75 freaking wood cutting already. So yeah, 10 more levels though. Hopefully this does help speed it up. I I feel like I should go get flax. I should be noting these and getting flax. Honestly, that might be the play, dude. I really don't want to though. But I might just start noting these. So, we have been woodcutting and fletching for quite a while. As you can see, we have all 390 in our inventory. I have no idea how much XP these give, but we just hit 75 fletching, so we're only 5 levels away from our freaking goal. We have a thousand tiles pretty much, so we are big chilling on tiles. We did surpass 10 mil XP nearly, so we're probably going to end up upping the XP here soon, again. Um, but yeah, wait, what are we at? Are we at 2k yet? Let's just go ahead and check. So we're at 2,500 XP per tile, so we'll probably end up bumping that up to like 3k maybe. I, I don't know yet, but let's go ahead, teleport home, and note these, and then start picking flax. So yeah, we need to pick a bunch of flax, and then we need to basically just turn it into bowstring. Which actually, I don't know, can we even do that? So don't we need a certain like level? Yeah, so we need 10 uh, crafting. So I guess first off, we'll probably just go kill a few cows, honestly. I think that'll be an easy way to get level 10 crafting. Just kill like two or three cows. Actually, we're going to go shear sheep instead. I hope that this works. I, it should, right? Like, I don't see why it wouldn't. Just go get those tiles that we almost missed. Oh, we just wasted two tiles. Does it she does it shear properly? Oh, it does. Beautiful. Can we just shear the same one? Oh, nice. That's actually very convenient. So we probably don't even need this many, but we're just going to keep going for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now instead of doing this in Lumbridge, we are going to go to Camelot, which we did unlock already. So we'll just go ahead here, and because this we're gonna, we're gonna pick flax, so we may as well spin it here too. So we'll pick it, spin it, bank, and repeat. Oh, a dragon imp, dude. Oh, that sucks. We don't have the hunter level for that. That would have been nice. That probably gives some juicy rewards, dude. Rip. But yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and be back because I know you guys don't want to watch me do this. But yeah, we're gonna spend a few tiles doing it, but. Other than that, this is going to be pretty boring. Let's just go ahead and make sure that this does work. I really hope it does. And boom. There we go. Oh wow, this is way less XP than I was expecting. I was expecting so much more XP. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and do more. We're going to have to get more. Jesus. Level 3. Can we at least get level 5, I think? Yeah, like that should be easy. Level 5, and I guess we don't really have a use for that, I don't think, so we'll just go ahead and teleport back to Lumbridge <laughs> and do this a few times. Rip, dude. Coming up on level 10, and it only took this inventory, so not bad. I, I'm not even going to bother spinning the last 3. It's like such bad XP, plus we'll get some good crafting XP from fletching, or not fletching, from uh... Making the bowstrings. Oh, I did not mean to go up here. What the hell? Uh, run. Wait, what? What just happened? Yes. Is that normal? <laughs> what the heck? That's so. That was so weird. Okay. All right. Time to go slave flax like the olden days for 411 flax, and hopefully that's enough. And for anyone wondering, no, the flax doesn't perma stay, it disappears, so we're going to be spending a few tiles here. <laughs> That's okay, we have plenty of tiles, but it does pick relatively fast. I'm curious how much XP we're going to get per uh, flax that we spin, so this is going to be interesting to see. I hope it's good XP, that'd be, that'd be nice, like get a little head start in our uh, crafting adventures. Alright, the moment of truth, how much do we get from bowstring? 225, that's actually not bad. Yeah, look at this XP, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to return after we're done with all this flax, and we'll see what level we have in crafting. 
crafting it'll be good because then we can start doing um, our cutting gems and stuff and then eventually making jewelry because we obviously don't have any so I'm actually curious what's a good crafting level to go for if we want like a strength amulet or something simple like that um holy crap how far so we do, I guess 50 strength would be good or 50 crafting would actually be really good which will end up hitting for sure so strength amulet yeah that, that'll be easy to get not bad so the more I'm f making these bow strings, the more I'm starting to wonder how am I going to do this? Because I have to unnote both of them. So let's see. If I unnote it, I can't just unnote the next one. I have to like, I guess, drop some and then note it. Oh man, this is going to be so tedious. This is going to be so tedious. Let's just see how much XP it gives. Hopefully this is enough. Oh, that's it? Really? I was expecting it to give way more XP. But it's giving the same XP I would get from basically just chopping the logs and cutting it straight up. Wow, okay. Wait, this is actually not worth it. This is so not worth it, dude. Oh my god. But these do sell for 768 gold each. Wait, I'm actually curious. Let's go check and see how much they uh, purchase it for at home. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if this is worth it cash-wise. It should be, because these sell for 257, while these sell for 513. We're basically doubling it. Eh. It's actually not the best, but also not the worst. I could alk and get way more, I think. 768, but then I have to pay for the nature rune anyways, so I don't think I make that much in the end. But you do get mage XP. But yeah, this is going to be good XP, or good cash, I guess. So I'm probably going to stop doing bowstring. Even though I really do want to hit 50 crafting, it's just so slow. But I think we're just going to go ahead and start fletching these. Because this is going to take too long if I keep going, man. Yeah, we're, we're just going to do this. This will be easier. Let's just... Oh, this is going to be so tedious, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to go back to Camelot so there's at least less people at the bank. Well, we are finished here. We hit 77 fletching, which isn't that bad, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead, teleport home. We're done. We're not going to fletch any more of these freaking thing. I probably should have kept one bowstring, but actually no, because we're going to want the inventory space anyways. But we're going to sell this stuff and just see how much freaking cash we're going to get. This is going to be so good because we actually do need the cash for like death runes and stuff. So it's not that bad of a deal in the end. So 239 holy crap look at the cash stack boys and this is a server that's very hard to get cash on so 370k that is so much i uh, may as well keep these noted because we're going to continue uh just our normal way of cutting and fletching so yeah it's going to take a little while but in the end it'll be worth it because we'll have an msb which is going to be so huge so yep let's head back and continue our, our old friend oh no wait i need to go get a knife but yeah uh, we're gonna continue the grind here i guess teleport to lumbridge and get ourselves a new knife because i dropped it for inventory space earlier so now i'm actually starting to wonder because we have a good amount of cash i think we're chilling on cash for now we probably i mean we could sell these too and get some more but now i'm starting to wonder should i start cutting arrow shafts and making uh, what's it called headless arrow tips because that's actually pretty good fletching XP I think I don't know if it's better than Cutting these but I mean I guess we can find out dude these logs give so much XP. It's insane So I'm actually gonna do that and then we'll, te we'll test our theory. We'll go buy some feathers real quick So we get 75 per log. We're also getting oh, yeah This is definitely gonna be better because we're getting a lot of XP. We're getting like a third of our XP just from turning into shafts and then we're gonna turn the shafts into headless arrows so yeah it's actually not bad so I don't even think I have to test this I think this is easily gonna be better XP plus I don't have to go home and stuff I can just sit here get a good amount until I think I have enough for 80 so yeah I think that's the plan we're gonna do arrow shafts okay so we got some feathers already just figured I'd go buy those out while you know because it takes time to restock uh, we got ourselves our Staff of Fire, and if you're wondering why I have that, um, that's a good question. We're gonna, I mean, we're going to need it anyways for the Fire Blast, but I figured 
We could hit 75 magic and use fire wave, but I don't know if I have access to blood runes. I know for sure I have access to fire blast, which is death runes, but I mean, we do get some good amount of GP alking this. It's not that bad, but I just figured I'd grab it now. We're going to fletch all these and see exactly what level it's going to get us to. Um, I don't think it's going to get us to 80, but it should get us pretty high. Oh, sick. You can actually Fletch and Alec at the same time. Alright, alright. Found the meta, boys. Found the meta. In case anyone was uh, trying to find an OP strat. There we go. So this actually works out perfectly. Well, we finished Alking. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell the rest of these nature runes to the shop now. And also, Fletching the 6k Headless Arrows almost only gave us one level, so this is very slow and tedious yeah not not fun and yeah it is what it is here we go finally if this took so freaking long 80 fletching is finally achieved that took forever a lot longer than I was expecting but it is definitely going to be worth it because now we can make our magic short bow and we can head to Barrows and try and do our first ever run and hopefully it goes well um, it's going to be kind of annoying without the prayer potions, but that's okay. We're still going to give it a shot and just try and complete at least one right now. And then we'll hop into doing stuff like farm runs to, uh, you know, get better runs consistently and stuff like that. So we're going to sell all this. We're at 430k and that is a lot of money, dude. There we go. 497k. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get the supplies we need for our magic short bow. Just unlocking ourselves the uh, magic trees really quickly, and we have to just chop chop one single magic log. That is it, and then we can officially make our freaking short bow. We're 85 wood cutting, by the way. There we go. 3.7 kxp for one log. Holy! And there we go. Let's go get ourselves a bowstring. Oh, nice. We just hit 45 crafting off of making that one bowstring as well. And here we go. Create. Boom, magic short bow has been freaking made on the act. Dude, that's such a huge accomplishment, you have no idea. But because of this, we can actually, we've already ax, oh, I guess I don't need these anymore. We've already actually like accessed a shop that does have rune arrows. So we have access to rune arrows, death runes, like this should be very easy, hopefully. I just really hope prayer isn't that much of an issue. So this is the range shop, I believe, one of these two guys. Um, we do have access to the leather, but do I want that? I guess the Avas, do we give ourselves the Avas? Like we can purchase it straight up. I, I don't, I don't know. Or should I, how would this work? Oh, maybe I should make it so I have to walk to Drainer Manor to uh, unlock this. I do have enough tiles, so I'm gonna go do that. Um, and then we'll purchase ourselves full leather, I guess. I mean, do I, do we really want this? I mean, I guess we'll want all the bonuses for sure. I guess I mean, I, I, I don't I don't know. I guess we don't need this This is what our gear is looking like for range now. We just need arrows, which I imagine it's this guy. Oh, he doesn't have arrows What the? Where who's got my arrows? Is it this guy? Uh, I guess I have to actually go to the shop that unlocked. Oh wait. No, there's two people in here Oh, here we go rune. Oh, the, so we don't have rune arrows in the shop no, actually, we probably want to save money anyways, so I'm probably just going to get Addy. Let's just go and do that. Let's get like 100. That should be enough, hopefully. And then we need Mage stuff. We already have the staff. I don't think we've unlocked any of this. I don't think we've unlocked that at all. Here's the uh, the shop. Okay, so we don't even have Death Runes in here. Looks like we're going to have to go to Mage Bank. Oh, that's scary. That is so scary. I don't want to go to Mage Bank. Oh no, but it looks like we have to because there's no death runes in here. Damn, looks like we're walking to Mage Bank. If we get PK, dude, I'm going to be so sad. Really hope no one PKs me. All right, we made it. I don't know if there's a teleport here, but I don't think I, I don't think it's fair to teleport to Mage Bank. That is stupid. <laughs> I think we should be risking it every single time. All right, death runes should be in here. There we go. Um, we're just going to, does the price go up at all? No. So we're going to purchase 250. Uh, we're gonna need more than that, I'm pretty sure. Wow, that is expensive, guys. 
And then I think we need air runes because we're going to be equipping the Staff of Fire which is going to give us Fire Blast. So yeah, air runes on top of that I guess we'll go in. No, we can purchase those in packs elsewhere. Oh, this is going to take a while to restock. I don't know how many we're going to need though. I guess we'll get like maybe, we'll wait for the restock and do like 500. There should be enough for one run at least maybe, hopefully. Okay, I am stupid by the way, and I just realized there's actually so many other shops other than here that have death runes, but I did find something else which I'm actually going to go check out right now. Um, if it's in the wilderness, we can actually get ourselves blood runes. Um, there is the, uh, the teleporter guy. What's his face? The, uh, the guy who takes you to the abyss. He has blood runes in stock, and it should be like 500 as well, so hopefully he's here. There he is. Please tell me he has them. Please. Oh, he doesn't. Wait, is, it, is this not the shop I was looking at? I thought it was. Okay, this stupid skeleton dude. Get off me, bro. Yeah, no blood runes. What? Yeah, so the guy is supposed to have... 500 blood runes and he doesn't that that really does suck because we can't even access blood runes at the shop at home so yeah but there's no there's no way of getting around that which does blow and also i'm trying to think of what we can do to get better mage gear i think going to yanil is a really big like unlock because that's going to get us mystic robes and that's going to be huge so i just have to think of how the heck we get there since we don't have a dual dueling ring which I do we have the level to make that actually that might be the play where would it be emerald ring ooh 27 maybe we do that so I think this is where we're gonna end up so I did really want to complete a barrows chest in this episode but there's a few things we do want to do we want to get that emerald ring and we want to enchant it into a ring of dueling which is actually gonna get us to castle wars which is gonna unlock a lot of things it's actually gonna unlock uh, access to like red shins and stuff as well which could actually be really huge for range training if we start doing Hunter. And then it's obviously going to access us uh, Yanil, which is pretty big. So there, there's a lot of things over there that we can actually use to our advantage. And obviously having access to Castle Wars is pretty nice just because it's a quick teleport to a bank, I guess. I mean, I guess that doesn't really matter too much on this private server, but yeah. And then it's going to give us access to the Sand Pit. What else? I mean, if Nightmare Zone is coded, then it does give us access to Nightmare Zone, which can be good. Other than that, I don't think there's much. There there shouldn't be. We could always charter to Port Kazard. That could always be another option. But I think having the Ring of Dueling unlocked would just be really good and, and beneficial in the long run anyways. So, yeah, we're going to end it here. I didn't realize how long this was getting. Um, next episode, for sure, 100%, going to start that Barrow's Grind. Uh, maybe even like do a lot of barrows because I mean next episode we can probably get like prayer pots and stuff like that'd be pretty nice So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and peace